Every time I step on a track, I'm going to let them know that I'm here. Either I'm going to win or I'm going to make them work, work their ass off nice. to get a W. No. A silver medal in 2021. A silver medal in 2022. A personal best of 19.68 seconds. Made every U.S. team since 2019. Finished no lower than second place in every 200 meter race except a single one in the past three years. Kenny Benarek has been one of the most consistent 200 meter runners in the world over the past four consecutive years, but still seems to get overlooked just a bit compared to his peers. So let's quickly take a look back at Kenny B's career to understand why he deserves just as much recognition as the other top guys in the men's 200 meters. Kenny B was making a ton of noise in 2018 and 2019 when he was running at Indian Hills Junior College in Iowa. He hit some crazy indoor times of 20.30 and 49.93 in the 200 and 400 respectively, as well as outdoor times of 19.82 and 44.73. This is all in his first year at junior college. His original goal was to eventually move up to a division one school, but he decided to go professional signed with Nike, and went on to eventually compete at the 2019 USA Championships. There, he made it all the way to the final of the 200 meters, but he unfortunately got injured and just jogged it across the line. Because a few people ahead of him in that final didn't actually have the World Championship standard, he was ultimately selected to go to Worlds in Doha. Of course, due to injury, he was unable to make it out of the heats in Doha, only running 21.50 seconds, but he was back in 2020. Despite the pandemic, 2020 would be the start of the consistency we are now seeing. He ran times of 20.06, 20.30, 20.19, and 19.80 seconds. He won all of his races, except when he finished second place just once to Noah Lyles, of course, the defending world champion. In 2021, he went on a complete tear. Opening up a season with a windy 19.65, Benaric would go on to run sub 20 seconds 14 times, 11 of those being wind legal, and he never finished lower than second place in any of his races. He won an Olympic silver medal in a personal best of 19.68 seconds at the Tokyo Olympic Games. He then went on to win the 200 meters at the Diamond League final in Zurich with 19.70 seconds, his second fastest time ever, and beating out both Fred Curley, the 100 meter Olympic silver medalist, and Andre de Grasse, the 200 meter Olympic gold medalist. The consistency that Benaric showed throughout the 2021 year was only matched or better by the likes of Noah Lyles, Michael Johnson, Frankie Fredericks, Otto Bolden, Usain Bolt, Carl Lewis, yes, I'm comparing Kenny Benaric's 2021 season to the likes of those guys. Not saying he's better than any of them, just saying that his season brought him into the conversation as one of the most consistent 200 meter runners in history. Enter 2022, and things don't start off as hot as 2021. Opening up with a 400 meters, he then ran a couple hundred meter races that weren't as high quality as a prior year. He was dealing with a toe injury that set him back for most of that early part of 2022. Um, I'm starting off a little bit slow. At the beginning of the season, um, I was doing really well, but then I had some unfortunate incidents that happened. So I've been you know, trying to get back in form and it's gonna take a while. I got a lot of work to do, yeah. work on my start. Uh, I'm not really worried about the two, but the 100. You know, I need to, you know, get my, my crap together. No, no worries. <laughs> but yeah, my biggest uh, goal this year is just to work on my starts and for the 200, I think my, I have the best turn in the 200, but I just got to work on leading, uh, holding on that last 100 meters so I don't let anybody try to get me. So at this point in the season, when he's not running some extremely fast times, he's beginning to significantly get overlooked, especially as Noah Lyles, Arian Knighton, and Fred Curley had been tearing up the track with extremely fast 200 meter times. I, know what you're I feel like there's a, a lot of people already, you know, kind of in a way disrespecting me. Uh, you know, I am a silver medalist and I'm not trying to be the guy like, hey, look at me. But, you know, like when I was coming out of Juco, I was kind of like, you know, I've been running these fast times. Um, respect, you know, giving my respect at least put me in the conversation because, like you were saying last year, under sub 20, like too many times for my liking, but, uh, you know, it was a good accolade to uh, my career. 
Um, but yeah, like every time I step on a track, I'm gonna let them know that I'm here. Either I'm gonna win or I'm gonna make them work, work their ass off to get a W. But in early June, Benaric went over to Morocco and won the 200 meters at the Rabat Diamond League. Just a few days later, he won the 200 meters again at the Rome Diamond League, this time in 20.01 seconds. This showed that Benaric was getting back into form and would be a serious threat to make the US team again. Showing up at USA's, he seemed to time things perfectly. In the 100 meters, he ran 9.95 and 9.98 seconds in the semis and finals respectively. But the 200 meters was his bread and butter and he showed out. After a 20.06 in the semifinals, Benaric went on to run 19.87 seconds for fourth place in the final, securing his spot on Team USA. Of course, Noah Lyles had the wild card, so the top four guys would get into the world championships. This proved that Benaric not only timed his season perfectly, but was more than ready to challenge for another global medal. Well, fast forward three weeks to the world championships in Eugene, Oregon. Kenny Benaric is on the track running 19.84 in his semifinal and 19.77 for second place behind Noel Lyles' American record. Kenny B proved why he is a gamer and really should never be counted out. He may not be the most flashy or the youngest, but he is clearly one of the best 200 meter runners in the world. And even with that, he is only 23 years old. Remember, he went pro directly after his first year at junior college. The only top 200 meter runner younger than him right now is Arian Knighton. But let me also be very, very clear. Fred Curley, Noah Lyles, Arian Knighton, even Michael Norman, all these other guys deserve tons of recognition for what they have done at the 200 meters. Lyles, he's the two-time world champion, Olympic bronze medalist, and the American record holder. Fred Curley, the 100 meter world champion, 100 meter Olympic silver medalist, and has a 200 meter personal best of 19.76. Arian Knighton, only 18 years old and has run 19.49 seconds and just recently won a world championship bronze medal. Let's not forget any of these guys. But we just can't leave out Kenny Benaric from that conversation at any point moving forward from now on. So go in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Kenny B's career. Has he been getting overlooked or do you think he has been getting proper recognition? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.